Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at how we can add multiple handlers to our simple web server. What it means is that when you go to a web page, if you're in your browser right now and you look um, up in the address bar, you're going to see that oh, you might see like a host name like, you know, google.com, blah, blah. And then depending on where you're looking at, you might see forward slash and then some other things. And you might not have noticed, but that's called a path. So we're going to be adding um, two paths to our, well, adding one more path to our web application server. So far, we've been supporting the slash path, which gives us what we call our index page or, or index handler. But we're going to change that. So now we're going to go over and add another one. So what we're going to do is, again, start with the code we had from before. And we're going to add this page, um, pages that go file. And so now our application has two pages. What we're going to do is move all our HTML template to this one file. Uh, we can create two variable, one called own page and the other one called welcome page. Um, nothing too fancy about that, right? Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to be able to, since these are part of the same application, um, now create our two handlers. And that is, again, pretty straightforward. It's literally duplicating um the functions and so we have more than one function to handle to print out different things when it's called and then we keep calling http that handle func and with new additional paths we can remember this takes a string and another and the functions that should be called when that path is seen we don't have to worry about this because the default mux takes care of all this don't worry you're going to learn about the, the, the default the mux and all this other stuff we can't get too deep, but anyway, you're going to get a better idea of it. So here we could see on line 11 and 12, where our hand, we have two um, handle paths that we specify. Now let's go back, build our application and run it and see um, how this operates now when we um, go back to our web browser and reload our web browser. And as you can see, it refreshes and we have the same page. Now I'm going to go change the background thing that I had. Um, rebuild and rerun and it's exactly as we expect but the thing that we really want to see though is does our application now support going to the second path that we support specify which is home and as you can see there it does so we know to add in a second path work and you can imagine that you could have multiple paths so you can go crazy adding paths so that, that's okay now um, one of the other things you might want to do is say you know what um, right now, we're loading things from the strings. Um, and we could keep adding more strings here and whatever. But this is HTML inside of a string instead of Go. And it doesn't have the nice syntax highlighting that we, we would want and for editing. So we might want to move those out to their own um, file. And so we do just that. We create some files and move them into that. And now, if we have an init function in our package, um, and the file for pages that once the application start because it's part of the same application as the main package um, this init function if you remember from chapter 2 is going to get run before our main function get runs so we want this to try and load our two um, the strings from our two HTML files and if they fail to load well we want the application to terminate because there's no point in having a web server that doesn't have any pages to serve and so we can use this very simple one line, and of course the test, let's ignore the test, but it's literally one line on line 20 from the IOUtil package, which I had mentioned when we were talking about um, you know, some of the other packages where we did a tour of packages in chapter 13, I think it was, or chapter 12, we did a tour of packages. I mentioned that we can't cover all the packages, but there's this IOUtil one that when you look at it from the packages page. And so um, it allows you to read the file, and then now we can turn those bytes into um, string there and again make things very easy for us in terms of having our content of the file now that we have that we can go back now and um, just rerun our application because we already have using the same variables that we specify so there's nothing new to really do once we rebuild our application and run it there we go we see that how it was updated just as we expected all right I want to keep this very short, so I hope you, you're like excited seeing the capabilities here. More to come. If you're new to web programming or you don't know web programming at all, I have another series 
um, called H Web Programming Fundamental, and it covers everything from JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and also Angular. The important thing is that it's really targeted people who have never programmed before. So if all you know to do is open up an editor, and if you're watching this, you know to do all that already, but you do not know HTML, you might want to ch definitely check out that series because I do go into the whole HTML, servers, methods, and everything. We do all of that, um, which we haven't covered here, and I won't be covering here, but ch definitely check out that series. Um, take care. Thanks for your time as always. Please thumbs up the video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please spread the word and encourage others to subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video. All right. Bye. Have a great day.